Make sure you check out Pod Living Design, ecopoddesign.co.uk. Well worth a look. So here it is then, the final vlog of the 2017-18 season. A few people have asked me to do a sort of best of vlog, so this is what this one's going to be. But I've got to say what an amazing season it's been. Uh, beautiful football of the highest order. That Premier League title with all the records broken, the Centurions, will it ever be matched or beaten? I don't know, but I know they'll try and do it again uh, next season. Uh, over 1.7 million people have actually watched the vlogs that I've produced, so thank you very much to all those people who've supported me throughout the season. Uh, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed it. Uh, next season I will be back, that's for sure, and thanks to George Parrish and Sons, which is a skip hire company in Manchester, I will resume with pre-season in the United States of America, so I'll be out in Chicago, New York and Miami, and then into, of course, the competitive season, starting with that Community Shield against Chelsea at Wembley. So thanks very much to everybody. I've met some great characters on the vlog. Some of those will appear here now. Whether you're in it or you're not in it, thank you for all the support in terms of talking to me, even in the occasional moments when you've not felt like doing it, singing your songs, even embarrassing yourself at times. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? So here are some of the highlights of the season just gone, and let's hope that next season will be just as good. For European matches with the Coliseum immediate, Los Angeles Police Department, it's great. Hopefully that you, the fans, had a good time. We did. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you I thought he was going to give me a match report then. Well, there's a face that's very well known among City fans who travel to all the games. Um, how long have you been going to watch City? Uh, regular since 63-64 uh, season. He wanted to fail! Of course he do! BBC Radio 5 Live, every time United's on, they love him. They do, do not like us. But what we'll do, we'll do what we do. We play football, we'll play football to the right level, and then we'll beat, beat everybody. Eventually, they'll have to like us. Today, City have flown to the beautiful city of Naples. I say beautiful city, there are parts of it that are, and there are parts of it that aren't. Hopefully they'll uh, get a good win and win the group. When I'm coming here uh, and I look at this, uh, this is quite different from then, eh? So it's a big club and uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice to be back. And it's a strange game, you know, the, the two clubs where you played for. Uh, it's it's uh, yeah, sort of uh, luck that you uh, that is like this. Uh, but uh, what I said, I think uh, City is a little bit too big for a final at the moment. I expect a lot of goals uh, if they play. Uh, a B team, uh, a wicked, wicked team. They still want going to be the final. Did he know he was going to play today? I Did knew it. Play? I knew this was his day. I knew it. <laughs> Bread and butter fans. I've been going enough. for years. Been to all the crap grounds. Yeah. Yeah. No, when you're brought up and you go to literally all the crap grounds yeah. in the world, and now all of a sudden it's about lo loyalty is how much money you can throw at it. Yeah. I think it's, it's a bit. Wrong. I think it's disrespectful to be honest. I really do. It's wrong. They, they've got. They I get, get where they're coming from, but it's yeah. disrespectful. They've done it, and they're guaranteed an away ticket, which hinders. Genuine supporters getting an away ticket. We know people that have missed out on tickets because they get first priority and they've turned up for a couple um, of seasons because yeah, City are doing all, well. All because the Hooray Henrys who can afford to pay for the Tunnel Club. Nah, don't like it. It's We're supposed to be a yeah. family club and in my opinion that family club is going. After you, sir? After me? Right, I don't know where I'm going. First time here in the Tunnel Club. Time? In the Tunnel Club. Not the first time in City. Crikey. Well, to be honest, it exceeds your expectations. It's fantastic, isn't it? We've done it once before by this lovely gentleman, and this is a lot more informal, looks very relaxed, which I think is great. I like that, it's a great atmosphere. And what I've done today is I've asked Ian to come in as my guest to the Tunnel Club. There's, the club aren't involved in this, and uh, I want him to see what it's like. So, what I can say about people who get movies, I think it's totally wrong that they're treated the way they are by, by the club. It's different, I suppose, isn't it? I mean, uh, 
And I didn't realise, because it's the second time I've been here, but I didn't realise that the players all walked through here before the game. Obviously, at the Tunnel Club. But, um, you know, so I suppose it's a treat for the people in here. Uh, Sane's just about to come past me here. They're just a yard or two away, and yet they can't see me, but I can see them. It does feel a little bit... A little bit strange, but then again, it's something that you can't do anywhere else. Well, I've just looked at the players going out, and they obviously can't see us looking out at them, so it's, it's a bit like a freak show, but it's all, it's it all about... It feels surreal, doesn't it? It's strange, strange to say the least. This is a conflict area with Russia, but it's isolated, so it doesn't affect Kharkiv or inland of Ukraine. So what have you made of the city? Well, it's all right. A bit of an adventure getting money. No, <laughs> no, no one speaks Nobody English. speaks English, but there we go. Now, this is actually a, a Ukrainian delicacy called Pirahe. Well, today's vlog comes from just outside Manchester in Stretford, where City are playing here against Man United. That was a better one. Yeah, big. Inevitably outside Old Trafford, there are a few 50-50 scarves. No. Sick, sick in the stomach as always, Ian. Derby day. I'll tell you what as well, there's no room here at Old Trafford. Uh, just look at the room in the seats. I'm glad I don't have to sit down during this game because standing up at least frees your legs. But it's just such an old tired ground that it gets such a great reputation. But when you actually come in here and see the mezzanine and the seats, it's just not what it's cracked up to be. Cheesy pal, men against boys. Should have, should have boxed the game off early, but it's for your second half. We're back with a better team. The part of the bus, they didn't want to know. They, they threatened us a couple of times. Apart from that, we had the 90 minutes that we knew we, knew we would. So I've heard some people saying uh, that's it, the league's done. What do you reckon? No, no chance. Uh, it's a long way to go. You saw United a few years back, eight points, dropped it. So, long way to go, but it's a very good start to it. So, you never know, you never know, it could happen. Good. Could happen. This is a huge Manchester City side. City fans cherish this because you are seeing something absolutely extraordinary. Fantastic. Could have been double figures, couldn't it? But we'll settle for four. There we are. Merry Christmas. There you go, young man. It's genius, isn't he? He's best player, best coach in the world. I think he's brilliant. He's Mum never liked him, did she? She didn't like the slow passing and stuff. She's just shoot, shoot, shoot. But I like it. It's good football. It's good to watch. It's, it's nice, finally. Matthew, that is up. I bet this is like your dreams come true, isn't it? Yeah, like 100%. I never thought this could happen. I had an amazing time at City, amazing time at Spurs. You know, it, it's like Christmas and New Year come early for me, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the game. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, Absolutely fantastic. Different sides to last year. The pressing is unbelievable. Uh, he's got some outstanding players doing all the dog, the dogging, the, the dirty work, the ugly work, and that's why they're going to win the championship. Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Unbelievable days, unbelievable. Can't believe it. it was, what's that now? 16 on the, on the trot. I thought today might have been a tricky game, but they've not had a sniff. We've destroyed them. Amazing! Oh, they just survived with the goal, but they were absolutely 8-1. Jesus, they were amazing. What a team. 
Can't. It gets better, mate. It just gets Beautiful. better. Easy! <laughs> Cheers, easy! Spot on! In general, I think it's the best football that's ever been played that a Manchester City team has played. Sammy Bish. <laughs> you alright? I'm okay. So, so I don't, get, don't get me fake teeth in. Get a little bit closer. Tell us what you're going to think what's happening today. Oh, mate, look, 4 0, and I feel bad for, for the team that I love as well. But you got a bit of a soft spot for Bournemouth. I've got a soft spot for all my clubs, you know that, Cheesy. People make me sit on the fence. Stay on that fence. Cheers. Thank you. What's the mood of everybody today? Everybody? Everyone seems like a good mood. It's almost Christmas, isn't it? Are you optimistic? <laughs> yeah, always. Always. I'm, I'm not one of these people that normally goes over the top, but I think today 4 or 5 nil. So, um, will you be giving any presents out to Bournemouth today? We've got a stuff of 6 nil. I thought we played at walking pace for a good hour because that's all we had to do to beat them today. What makes Manchester City special? The fans, you can hear us all now, we're here, the support. We've come over to Newcastle and yeah, I think it's the fans that make us special. We were special when we were crap and we're even more special now. And we're the best team in the we're the best team in the world now. We've always been the best team in the world in there, haven't we? I was a city fan following on from my dad like a lot of people. And my dad brought me up blue, and that's that's the way it is. I wouldn't say the best team I've ever seen is yet. I would think they're playing some of the best football the Premier League has seen. Um, you, you can't say they're the best team ever because as yet they haven't uh, they haven't got a trophy uh, in, in in the cabinet. But they're playing some sparkling football, some football I've not seen in the Premier League, some of the best football I've seen in the uh, in the Premier League. So yeah, they're they're one hell of a side with a great manager. <laughs> We're spoiled, spoiled rotten every week, aren't we, watching that? Battered them for 90 minutes, they come out and play, what, the last five minutes they wanted to have a go? Bit tense, always is at 1-0, but we're a joy to watch, aren't we? Absolute spoil, breathtaking, everything. Tell him, mate, get him sold! Somebody's going to catch that, and it'll probably be a team like Crystal Palace. I don't want it to happen, of course, but my guess is it'll be a team like Crystal Palace, who will maybe nick a draw somewhere, or, or it could even beat us, but fingers crossed, you know, happy new year for all City fans. The way it's going at the minute is scary. Um, and I've said it many times, if any fans deserve the success they're getting, it's the City fans um, from what they've been through and stuff. So it's happy times and long may it continue. It's a very different City side than the City side when you were loop manager all those years ago, isn't it? Just a little bit better. <laughs> well, it had to happen sometime. City have dropped points. They did the second game of the season against Everton. It's much more worrying is the injury to Kevin De Bruyne. Still unbeaten, mate. That'll do. I'm Still unbeaten. Nice, and happy new year. As a player, does it get to you, all the fatigue of playing all these games? No, no, because obviously the like the strength and conditioning and the recovery now is, is top notch. So nah, you kind of deal with it and you used to it anyway. Look, Kevin De Bruyne is going to be a huge loss. He's been fantastic. I've, I've seen too many. I think. I feared the worst when I saw that stretcher. I thought it was out for the season territory, but to see him back is a machine. I mean, they tried to injure him twice, Scott Dan and also uh, Jason Punchin. They've come out with horrific injuries and he's playing tonight. It's brilliant. Oh, there's a hell of a lot you could hear from, the, from Pep. You know, just watch him on the sidelines there, talking to the players and where he wants them. And not only that, when they give the ball away, how quick they are on the press. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. So, great to see, very enjoyable and hopefully more goals. It's a good game today, stunning performance from City, and this is the fastest goal so far City have scored in the Premiership history. It's really, really good to watch. I live in France now, and uh, I, I watch most of the games on um, on the TV. But um, fantastic! Really look forward to watching the games. Half time, Jesse's two brothers. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit, a bit one of them, that isn't it? I says, no, no, don't worry about it. I said, one ball in behind, cut them apart. Burnley don't like conceding goals. Uh, got the one, and then I knew it'd be more. I think we're at the pinnacle at the minute, Ian. I'm not sure how, high, how much higher we can go. The way the football's been played this season has just been sublime. It's been unbelievable. So it's a big night for your hubby tonight, isn't it? What, how's he feeling? Um, he's calm. He's really calm. So what's today mean to you, Dean, with your family being here? Uh, it's going to be an amazing night. We've got 8,000 up in that away end up there. The, the atmosphere's going to be... Incredible, hopefully something the stadium's never seen before. So yeah, a lot of excitement, family and buzzing, kids can't wait to see it, so 
fingers crossed it's a good night for us. I think Bristol are a fantastic side, they play football, they came here, they've not sat back like others and it's been good to watch an open game of football, albeit not at our best and we struggled through parts but albeit a very good, good game of football. I'm thinking that I'll be happy if we come up with a draw. Our record here is appalling, but it's about time it changed. So you never know, we might win. Nervous. Uh, history says everything's against us, but I think if we can't come to Liverpool with confidence today with the team and the way we're playing, then it's got to be... You know, let's, say a let's nick a phrase from them. It's our year, isn't it? So this is the year that we do it. Got to stick your, stick your chest out and say, a win. You know, I'm always... I'm always sceptical, I'm always worried, but you know, I just think when you come here, you've got to be strong and we've got to go and say, you know, we're going to win the game, I'm, I'm confident. Just about 20 minutes, uh, Bernal passing legs one on today, uh, I just thought the passing overall throughout the team was poor and that's what let us down today. I'm very disappointed, I think uh, there was nothing in the game so Stones allowed himself to be pushed off it. Devastating, but still proud of the lads. We're still the best team. They've just had it's just they've just had an off day and that's it. My views on the Santos is it's a bit like when Rodney was saying on your show, you know, when they brought him back for City again and he messed up and we didn't win the cup and I think it would cause a lot of problems in the dressing room. I really do. I think if he was come, if he'd have come to City and demanded the wages he wanted, there'd have been a lot of unhappy guys in that changing room. The only left side would have been absolutely phenomenal. It's been Silva, De Bruyne, Sane, Sachenko. These players have just been phenomenal on the left side. I'm a City fan of old, so I'm always worried, <laughs> even if we're 4-0 up. So, but yeah, uh, great result, and like I said, you know, onwards and upwards. The 40 odd games that Jerry Gow played for City lives in the memory a long, long time of anybody that was fortunate enough to see him play. At the end of the game, Leroy you are come over and give me shit. And then, um, yeah, I'm buzzing them over the moon. It's not City, I'm going to Wembley! 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 Well, 3-2 we didn't, really. didn't reflect it really, it was complete domination and yeah, we're there, yet again. Sanchez goes to Wembley, is he Eck? Sanchez goes to Wembley, is he Eck? Sanchez goes to Wembley, is Sanchez goes to Wembley, is Sanchez going to Wembley, is he Eck? Oh. First half was just an absolute masterclass. It's not often at my age where I kind of think I'd love to get my boots back on, but to, to play in that side, it's just, you know, you, you make a run and you kind of think the ball's going to come, and it does. It never disappoints you. And I just think the quality of the movement, the awareness, first touch, everything about that, that could have been... If City had gone for it in the second half, they would have won about six. So um, they're just an absolutely brilliant football team. Great to see David Silva back. I think it's absolutely inspiring the way that he's playing football um, with everything that's going on at home. Um, I think just in general the team is growing strength by strength, week by week and I think we've still got a good few games to go. Um, it's going to be something exciting for the end of the season. We've got Wembley to look forward to, uh, FA Cup as well, Champions League, can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. Oh, nothing positive as far as West Brom are concerned. I think it'll all be fine. It's going to be okay for Man City. Don't panic, all right? Today I've got really frustrated about the tackles, that's all. But I thought we played well overall and we finished the game well in the end. The Porte, absolutely world class. Uh, I'd go as far as seen, and I know he's only had one game, but um, best centre half I've seen in a City shirt in many, many years. So, as the under 20s England coach, how good are City's under 20s at the moment? Very good. We've got some really, really good players. We've got quite a few who are in our England system. Um, hence why I'm here for the game tonight to see them. On the train, there was an argument about Sane 
and Sterling, prompted by the fact that at Wigan last night they were singing Sarni Goes Down the Wing on the rugby league match. So that's how um, influential he's come. But, but some people were just saying Sterling's still not very good and generally everyone thought, how stupid, you know what I mean? He's, He's really good, he's got all these goals, all these assists. He still doesn't finish particularly well, but that'll come really. So. Number 14, Emmerich Laporte. Number 24, Tosin Adelabaro. Number 35, Alexander. I mean, we are like, we're, we're still like massively in front, aren't we? But I'm just really frustrated. He caught me at that moment. <laughs> Jerry, given that Mares almost signed for City, where, where do you stand on the whole? fiasco if that's the right word of Mares. Yeah I think you know there's always two sides of every story. Uh, obviously Riyadh you know probably would have liked to have joined Man City uh, but you know he's Leicester's best player on his day uh, and you know at the end of the day they've got to get the right valuation for the player so the, the owners of Leicester City well within their rights keeping a hold of Riyadh Mahrez. He's under contract and uh, you know he has to see that contract out until you know, somebody says otherwise, so I think the owner's got it right. So this is the Tudor room and this is Tudor Thomas, whose room it is. Tudor, you've been involved in this club for a long time. How long has this room existed? This room started in 1959. 1959. Started it off and... Uh, back at Main Road. Back at Main Road, yeah. Uh, I've been following the club for 64 years. So what are you expecting from today? First leg, um, not to lose, but I think we'll win. So here we are in Basel, uh, but there's not many airports where you see a sign like that behind us that says options to go into three different countries. So which one shall we go into, do you think? I think I'll go for Switzerland. So what do you make of this experience? Well, pretty frightening to be honest. Why? Nah, we're going across the river. Attached to a, a string. With a massive current, and all we're held on is a piece of elastic. Yeah, but we're floating. If it broke, you can just go that well, way. We're going to get down there. The What's down there? It? What's down there? It's down there. It's oh, it's it. it. Oh, it's the, the whole get, experience. Get the hacksaw out then. <laughs> Basel. Basel, beautiful city, very cold, um, but looking forward to the game. Do you think City are going to win it? I think City could absolutely destroy um, Basel. Comfortable, very, very comfortable. Without being comfortable. Who's in charge here and who's in charge? You know, I spent a lot of happy times at uh, Man City, uh, but there's a new project on hand now. You know, Wigan, they've done it before. Um, you know, there's a reality check, isn't there, that you, uh, when you look at the lineup that they have and you look at the lineup that we've got, Paul Cook's uh, assembled a pretty good team, but uh, I think Is he'll be. Your son? <laughs> yeah, too many cooks spoil the broth, right? Um, yeah, but we're looking forward to it. It's just great for the fans, great to see the stadium full again and uh, yeah it's good it's a good thing isn't it the FA Cup so it's got it's got the magical moments to it. Um, today I think it's gonna be six now. I think we're gonna win six now yeah. This at the end is a disgrace attacking our players on the way off. That's absolutely disgraceful. I don't know whether you've seen that yet but they were attacking um, Aguero. So that's my opinion. But we got actually out of this what we deserve nothing. Oh cheesy, we did play well, John Stones was not very good, we attacked in the second half, but we just weren't good enough tonight and the, tre the quadruple's gone but we're on for the treble now, that's all I want to say here, that's all I want to say. I don't like saying it because it's not normally me but I am actually quite confident today, um, based on the fact that like, I know we, we try and get rid of the typical city tag, but because obviously we can beat us on one day I kind of feel like It'll be like poking a lion. Ah, I think we're going to win it. 4-1. Aguero third. Aguero four maybe. I don't know. Otamendi. The general is getting a goal, isn't he? <laughs> so what do you think of today then, Robbie? If 
fancy it. Fancy a feeling. I don't know what it is. It's kind of the same feeling that I had last year. City are a great team, but they can be beaten. If we defend right, I fancy us. You know what I mean? We've got a good pedigree here at Wembley. I don't think we're going to be scared, you know, and um, I'm going Arsenal 2-1. Magic, absolute. Played well today as well. Played really well. So they pleased to see Vincent Kompany score, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You no, know, uh, he defended well, heroic, and uh, fantastic goal as well. So uh, yeah, great day. To me, again, the world from what we've come from to where we are now, Ian. stadium is now, grew up in Miles Plateau and then I moved further afield but Manchester boy basically. Did it mean anything to you when Phil Foden from Stockport came on? Ah, sensational, it's absolutely sensational. I think um, for as much as the club is going in a certain direction looking for success, this now got one of the possible crown jewels of English football coming through and he happens to be from Manchester. Chances are he's probably a City fan as well. It's just the future looks great, doesn't it? but it's also, as well as all the snow, very, very windy. The game is on, uh, whatever I think about the uh, conditions and whether it should have been. So here it is, this is the burger. I'm telling you, this is the best at any Premier League ground. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad the game's still on because of, of my work commitments as well. It's not being selfish. Um, we set off in good time at half past ten because we knew what the weather conditions were like. Um, it's a chance you take. Everyone's took the chance in football before today, but games where people have turned up, games have, have been called off. I'm glad the game is on. But also, yeah, you've got to think about the fans travelling, the health and safety of it all. But oh, I am glad the game is on. Um, absolutely brilliant. Uh, played fantastic first half. Second half just killed it out. It was unbelievable. I have to reveal that some people are superstitious and uh, my friend and colleague Alan here at half time changed his socks and that's why City have scored, isn't it Alan? The lucky socks. <laughs> Today's vlog comes from Stoke, but I'm starting here at the old Victoria ground. That's the only bit that's left. If I said to you, what are your memories of, of the Victoria ground, what would you say? Uh, fancy dress inflatables and getting big. Mike Newell is the guest today with Darren talking through the team news when we get that in around about an hour's time. So, All right. <laughs> I don't see many people going to games like this while you're dressed, no, you well, undressed like that. We're going for the swim. <laughs> and the stadium uh, I really miss playing football I have to say uh, the magnitude of the game is is massive uh, a lot on stake um, both teams in good form um, a cracker to wait to wait for a cracking game I expect and um, hopefully with a great outcome for us so here comes the city team bus then getting the reception that the Liverpool supporters said they were going to give Liverpool City Liverpool City Liverpool City Look 
Not impressed. Sportsmanship has died in Liverpool. Shell shot, really. Uh, don't think they've been at the races. I think they started the game all right, but once the uh, once the first goal went in, they looked shell shot. Um, and Liverpool, you know, by far the better side, look really dangerous going forward. Struggle in the week. Super Scousers, win nothing as usual. What went wrong tonight? Uh, play, I think players bottled it. Yeah. And people have been talking about the, the, the players they didn't play. And, uh, it's too easy. Players bottled it, but it's too easy. Um, Liverpool are always going to give a good show tonight. We just didn't come up with it. 60 years. I've never seen City in, be in this position ever before. You know, you've got a situation where if we win today, It'll never be seen in anyone's lifetime again. We waited so long, haven't we? 77, was it? 79? Last major so, glory so, before. Where are you from then? Denton, Failsworth, something like that? I'm from a little town in St. Jim where there's uh, about six and a half million people living up in China. If we don't win the, today, Ian, it's not the end of the world, but I think for the, the game, the, fa the players today will play for the fans. We all want to win the derby, and the special thing is to win the league. Playing against United is it makes it even bigger. You feeling confident then? Ah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to it. So, are you looking forward to today's game? Oh, I'm so happy to be uh, at a Manchester derby. Never been. Hell of a day to come. Thanks for having me. Enjoy it. Cheers. Who are you? Who are you supporting today? I never guessed that from your big banana. Throwing him up Ian by, by, by half time. I'm not going to blame Sterling because the boys did throw that away, but he cannot miss them chances in a game of this magnitude. 3 0 against Liverpool, one of the, one of the better sides in the, in the table, to be honest. So I, it'll be a miracle if it happens. Yeah, I think we're going to win. You've got what can you do? You know what I mean? Why play? Why come if you don't believe you're going to win? The amateur is great today. I've got my two boys with me. I think if we can get two early goals the first half, then anything's possible the second half. I've got my fingers crossed and I'm trying to forget about Saturday. Poor, poor team selection, poor, poor performance in the end. You know, we've tried very hard City, but not enough to do it. Even Gary Lineker said that second goal should have stood. It came out, it went into the goal off Milner. We'd have been two up, the heads would have dropped, and we'd have had it. But it's, it's bad reffing again. Gutted. First half was a good first half. We penetrated, pressed them really well in the first half. Thought we should have had two, maybe three. Changes the whole dynamic of the game. It's been like a, poor, a poor week, but we know what this team's capable of, and I think we'll still win today. I know the team's not very confident at the moment, but we still do it. <laughs> Game face on, didn't they? Hey, <laughs> second half. Wow, Kevin De Bruyne and Vincent Company, awesome today. Really good. And finally, Sterling banged one in. It was getting a bit worrying. He has too much time. He, wow. Should have been a character today, didn't they? Oh, brilliant, fantastic, Ian. Honestly, I think that's one what more, the concentration baby. was on. The players' faces. One they just wanted it. Did. They wanted it more. It's just what we needed. Brilliant. Next week, Swansea. Come on, City. Bring got Swansea next week, Ian. Nice one. One word I would use to sum up that performance, and it was character. So, City Champions of England, what does that mean to you? It's what I dreamt of as a kid, even as a 25 year old and not part of the older generation. It's everything that I wanted as a kid, it's what I dreamed of. To win it in this manner, five games to go, the party day today, enjoy today, and not have to worry about the result is really special, and, and, and I think it's the, special, the most special one that I've seen, the three that I've seen. So I definitely think it's the, it's the one that sort of resonates the most. Best football we've played. I think we're the best team by a country mile. What do you make of this? Pretty exciting, isn't it? Oh yes! Champions! Come on! 
Yeah, it's weird going to see something we've never experienced before as City fans to come and get a guard of honour. We've always done it in a typical City way, haven't we? Turn up last day of the season, not know if you're going to win it or you're not going to win it. Now we've won it and it's all about sort of breaking those records now and making sure we can sort of nail ourselves in the history books as being one of the greatest teams that have ever played in the Premier League, I think. Had to be done really, didn't it? The guy who has this, who owns it, I'm going to talk to you a little while on the vlog, but it's nice to have this, isn't it? Hey, listen, I waited a lot. we've all waited a long time for these. These kids don't know about these things. So I bought me own. How lovely to see the Guard of Honour, fantastic. It's beyond my wildest dreams, and I've got some pretty wild city dreams. This is the most fantastic day to be a City fan. Champion! My son's named after Niall Quinn, and I don't think he could be any happier. So thanks very much. All the best. Peace and love. Get all this. And it's the best season we've ever had <laughs> as Blues. <laughs> I can't. Why are you so excited? <laughs> we've equaled the quickest time to ever win the Premier League title, and I just can't believe it. This team has, has just meant the world to me, uh, especially as a Brooklynite. Uh, I feel this team has a lot of the same characteristics that Brooklynites do. It's, they're tough, they're resilient, uh, their fans are true blue. Um, and, you know, so I decided to take the chance. We flew out here, had a, a mate get us tickets for the match, um, hopped on a plane. Uh, we're going to go back tomorrow. Uh, I'm a school teacher, so it's going uh, to be a rough week next week, but it'll definitely be worth it. Well, it's great for everyone connected to Manchester City, of course winning the league and picking the trophy up today in front of the home support. I'm sure it's going to be a full house and uh, we're looking forward to today. Personally, it's, it's the most dominating season that my team has ever achieved with the, the best football, breaking all kinds of records, but making me feel more excited about every single game that I see than I've ever done. I mean, I include 2012, as fantastic as it was, 2014. This is the time, this is the place, and this is the team to be supporting. Amazing. Best team I've ever seen. Waited a whole lifetime for this. 
they are, they are the bollocks. Hey, look, nobody even knows what the result was, do they? It's look, it's special, isn't it, mate? I've, I've come, I've come here three times this season. First time he got seven, then he got four. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference that he didn't even score today, mate. It was just, uh, just special to be here, mate. What a squad of players, what a coach, what a football club. That's it. Yeah, happy smile. So good, yeah, yeah. Why have you made that sign? Well, he's. He's been playing throughout the whole time I've been going to City, so he's become one of my personal favourite players of all time. Uh, I think over the, the first four, five, six years of what he what he gave to this club was just uh, difficult to uh, to quantify. Um, his power, his uh, intenseness, and I think he was there was there was three players in that team. There was Silva, Aguero, and Yaya, and they kept the club going for several years until. Uh, until we got the rest of the guys around him, but uh, his contribution has been immense. Legend, one of the best players in City ever. What makes him a legend? He was one of the persons that started this era for City, and I just love him. He's been an absolute revelation for the club. Sad to see him go, but his time's come to an end, and we'll give him a great send off tonight. People are talking about uh, me and doing something for this club, but I think that. Uh, we have to, to thank those players, you know, Joe and Zabaleta, Joe and Esco, Ricardo, all the time. There you go, mate, eight years. Can you feel it then? Oh, mate, empty. It's like uh, someone's left us and ain't coming back here anyway. But it's nice to know he's got a season ticket. Um, that's brilliant, he's got a lifetime season ticket, so hopefully when he's a bit older, come and sit next to us and shout some other star on. What a special day for you, Cole, oh, and a special day for your brother as well. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic, um, fantastic uh, night for, for, for all the family, you know, because uh, uh, what a great club, what a great player, you know, and uh, of course everything goes to the end. There's hand in anything, you know, and uh, this is yeah, yeah, time now. But like I said, he's a legend of this club and uh, for what he's done, and uh, the support from the fans, you know, support from the team, been amazing. What a season. What time did you get here then? Three o'clock. For a six o'clock start, you must be bloody keen. <laughs> These boys are worth it. What's your role today? Right, well, uh, someone's got to do it. I'm leading the parade. I don't know why I'm using that, because it's not on, it's just for show. I'll put it down. I'm leading the parade, Mr. Ian Cheeseman, which is an absolute honour and a pleasure. So this is what it's like to be on top of the bus uh, and all around me here. Well, we're actually on the back bus. You can see the other buses. They're not loaded up yet with people, but they will be a little bit later on. Finish work at one o'clock instead of six. My boss is gutted because he's a blue and he's still at work. And then I did put face paint on, but I've wiped it off because it looks a bit silly. But yeah, about four hours. We've been to the stage, got chucked out of there because we had to queue up. So we thought prime position. And then we're going right to- the beginning, aren't you? Yeah. And we're going to try our best to cut through town the long way round and catch it somewhere else as well. Yeah, it's Good lovely, isn't it? It's great. Uh, don't rest your voice Did you ever me. think you'd see uh, scenes like this when you were playing? And get ready for it to go. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know we, uh, we've been a little bit uh, further on to the Midlands Hotel. We've got the uh, champions. And there was a, a, a little a smaller crowd, but it's, it's similar like this, but yeah, the way it is now, it's somebody else. I'm going on stage, and going to put a, with Skip, with Tony Vogue, we're going to put a, a trophy on a table, and then come back off the stage. How good is this 50 years after you won the league? Oh, it's brilliant. I wish it could happen every year. Obviously now, Vincent Company supersedes you, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's top man at the club. Tell me how much today means to you. Oh, everything. Absolutely. Just amazing. More than just so happy and words can't even say. After scoring that goal yesterday, honestly, as I say, my heart was racing. It's 
all your family blue? Well, apart from my husband, but that's another story. <laughs> Best day of my life. The first best day when, when Guerrero scored that amazing goal. Yeah. What about the day you got married? No. That's probably no, the third like day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> third best day of my life. It's the way Pep has structured the team, got them together, and they bought into his way of playing football. Shall I pinch you to see if you walk up? Ooh, I think I am. You are yeah. really here. Yeah. You're not dreaming. No, I'm not dreaming at all. Definitely not. How good is this, Mike? How are you? How good is this? Great night. End of a great season. No, this, this, when, we were, when we were at Southampton, and that went in, that was amazing. That. It was not similar to the, uh, to the, uh, the goal that Aguero scored, but that was so special. Unbelievable, Ian. Absolutely outstanding. We deserve this for all them years of, of hurt we had. Uh, all, all, you know, all the times that we were, we were grilled at school, we were ripped for years. This is what it's all about, this. Third time now, third time, three times in my lifetime, and we've rewritten my, my age words of Premier League history in one season. But in terms of a great day for the city and a great day for the club that I support and maybe you support, what a great, great day it's been. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Much appreciated.